From VR to cloaking devices, display technology is quickly advancing and it's going to drastically change our world in just a few years. So let's take a look at some of the most amazing projects so far. We start off with something really amazing and this invention can actually bend light and make objects appear invisible. Created by Hyperstealth Biotechnology, this works by using a lenticular lens. So this means that the flat panel acts like an outward curving lens. And it can not only bend the visible light spectrum, but it can also bend infrared and ultraviolet waves. So this contraption works by using multiple lenticular sheets, which are layered in a specific way, which allows the subject to almost appear invisible. So obviously this has huge military applications and it can be used from anything to tanks to riot shields. And one day it might even be possible to integrate this technology into clothing, which would be really interesting to say the least. So we can partially cloak objects, but is it possible to make them transparent? Well, once again, we can leave that to Japan to figure out, and this particular building has transparent washrooms. So the walls are configured to utilize a voltage switch, and this makes the glass transparent. When somebody locks the door, the voltage is dropped and it goes back to a solid state. The walls can be configured to a wide range of colors, and they even illuminate during nighttime. So finally, there is no more guessing whether a toilet is occupied or not, but let's just hope there's no malfunctioning with the power supply. Now, transparent systems are not only limited to walls, but they can actually be incorporated into visual displays. One of the first edge-to-edge -edge transparent displays utilizes OLED technology, which eliminates the need for backlighting. The television is self-illuminating, and it's ultra-thin at 5 millimeters with 1 billion color combinations. The TV can do this thanks to its AI smart system, which has over 20 optimized algorithms for five major sceneries. So it's constantly refining the graphic resolution to create vibrant videos. But the television does hit to over seven grand, and it might not make sense for all types of applications. So we have seen transparent displays, but what about integrating information into them? Well, many types of AR HUD displays are coming out, but this particular one caught my eye, so to speak. This device feeds computer vision, machine learning, analytics into a holographic projection which gives enhanced information to drivers. These features include mapping, navigation guidance, and even hazard warnings. This company has already received a lot of investment from multiple car companies including GM, but it will likely roll out in higher-end cars in just a few years. I don't think we will get to level 5 autonomous cars anytime soon, so this is a good step to understand how autonomy can be improved without having your life thrown into a self-driving car. So we have seen some pretty incredible two-dimensional displays, but what about the three-dimensional perception? Well, a new type of spatial reality display tracks the user's eyes to specifically render 3D objects in order to match your viewing angle. So everything looks 3D when you look at this display. Now this is a pretty phenomenal technology and the rendering software will be compatible with Unity and Unreal Engine. You can play games with it or even interact with people as if they were really there. But it's also very early in development so it's not exactly perfect and the resolution is not actually comparable to a 4K television. Now it can be argued that the best type of three-dimensional display is holographic and this particular device utilizes a laser and metasurfaces which are very thin materials that can be manipulated by light. So the hologram can be viewed by multiple people at different angles. Each movie is produced through an electron beam printer, but it takes a very, very long time to produce movies. Roughly six and a half hours to craft all 48 frames of this projected Earth. The team is still working hard though on a multicolor display, which actually works a little bit faster. There have been a few other ways in the past which attempt to create holograms, but all these methods use very sophisticated equipment, so I don't think we're going to have holograms sitting on your desk anytime soon. Now we reach the conclusive number one, and I have never seen anything like this before, and it utilizes the mind for visual perception. The chair is outfitted with many vibrating actuators along with color combinations, so you can actually feel what is visually being projected. However, this is where the mind takes over and users begin to have their own unique experience. Stimulation of one sensory pathway leads to experiences in other cognitive pathways. Neuroscientists commonly refer to this as synesthesia, so it's kind of like dreaming while you're still awake. Now obviously this has been worked on for quite a bit and the current chair we are looking at right now is version 2.44. So it's definitely going to be improved in the future. 
And this is yet again why we should study more about the brain, because if we can perfect this technology, then it could lead to a different level of machine-human interaction, or even a different way to visualize something. So once again, thanks for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.